Hey kids, welcome back to String Cheese and Applesauce, where today we're going to do another live build. Today it is this Lego Monster Fighter set, the Vampire Castle, set number 9468. Now this set came out in 2012. It has 949 pieces, retailed for $99. So this is 2014. We're building the set again. I don't have the box. I have all the original instructions, all the pieces, all the minifigures. So I usually take this out around Halloween, Christmas, or fall time, just because it, it kind of fits the, um, the time period, I guess. So let's look at the minifigures. I mean, that's why we're here today, right, kids? You're just more interested in the minifigures. So we have two of these bat figures. They're identical. We'll look at one. Um, the headpiece, it's pretty cool. Now this, um, I believe this originally came out in the collectible minifigures, this bat minifigure. This one's a little bit different than the collectible one. Um, but what's cool about it is the, the molded headpiece is pretty cool with the printed pieces on the ears. And then it's got the cool little slick backed hair. It's a very Eddie, Eddie Munster-ish. If you kids even know what Eddie Munster is. You've got a single printed face, and it's a scary face. You've got the big mean eyes, the, the sharp teeth, and all of the crazy scarring or indentations on the side of the face. So that's cool. Um, the wings are molded underneath the arms. So you can see when you move the arms, the wings move with it. Uh, I, I would say that's the one downfall of this whole minifigure is the fact that you have to have the arms straight up to be able to see the wings and there's no way to put the arms in the downward position because the arms are more or less kind of sticking out versus a, a, a standard minifigure that has them kind of down by their sides these arms are sticking straight out. So that's kind of a bummer. But let's look at the torso printing. Torso printing is cool because you see all the chest hair, the little um, abs, got a little six pack going on. Got some printing, represent the pecs. On the back here, same thing. You kind of see the spine. You got hair printing. You got the ribs printed on there, the shoulder blades. Really cool little print on the torso. So we have two of these bat figures in the set. Um, so that's pretty cool that you get two of them. Let me see, let me look it up on the, the brick set database here. Let me see if, um, if these have a name. Hold on, my phone's deciding to Sorry, I don't have my laptop up today. I'm looking at this on my phone. <clears throat> so this is just called the Bat Monster. So two Bat Monsters. So let's look at our next minifigure. There's um, there's actually two skeletons in this set. Now they look extremely identical at first glance. You can see the torso, the heads, the legs. All the same, the main difference is the arms. So this one has these clip style arms. And this one, the torso is slightly different and it has these arms that are actually on this ball joint. So they actually turn around. Let me take one off. So you see there's a little bitty ball joint right there. And then that little clip clips onto the ball joint and it allows the arms to more or less dangle with gravity, no matter which way you turn them. You can see they just kind of fall down. Whereas this one, it's kind of this, these droid arms where they, you move them and they stay in position wherever you move them. So there's, um, there's just, it's called a skeleton with standard skull. And then there's, um, well, that's it. They only consider one of them a minifigure, but there's two of them. 
So the next one is Dr. Rodney Rathbone. Um, now this is the third time he's occurred in the Monster Fighters sets. So we've seen him already three times. Yes, I have three fingers there, three times. So nothing new from the other previous times, but just real quick, he's got a, a, the vest over his shirt and tie. He's got his watch hanging out of his breast pocket there. A little bit of printing on the back. He has a, a mech leg and the top hat with some killer sideburns. Now we have Jack McHammer. Now this is a, um, a cool little minifigure. He's only seen in two sets. It's this set and the, um, the zombie set, which is kind of turning into one of the most rarest sets. Um, if you have a zombie set, that's a pretty cool, pretty cool set to own because it was only a target and they only had it for seems like about three months and then it was gone. It's like you either had to get it or it was gone. So Jack McHammer has this cool Thor hammer in one hand and he has a mech arm. So it's all metal and he has this little claw. The printing, he has a flannel green shirt with a leather vest over it. And you can see on the back, you see the vest with a little bit of hint of the flannel green shirt underneath it. He has, he has the standard Lego City robber hat. So this is something you see in the, um, the bad guys of the, the Lego police sets. He's got a red beard um, and an angry face, single printed face. So that is Jack McHammer. J you know, it's a play on words like Jack Hammer. So here's Lord Vampire. Lord Vampire, okay, so we saw him in the hearse, the, um, the vampire hearse. So nothing new about him from that set. So either way, it's a really cool set. And this is a cool minifigure. His head glows in the dark. Can't see it. I just put it, I just cuffed him in my hand. He, he I verified that it really does glow in the dark. Um, he has this cool little gunmetal sword. The printing is actually really, really good for a um, kind of a basic minifigure. The cape is two pieces. You see a little printing on the back. So this, there's a big cape and then there's this little um, collar piece. That's actually two pieces when it was put on. So the last minifigure is Lord Vampire's Bride. So this is, um, you know, Mrs. Vampire. Same thing, her head glows in the dark, as well as her hands, I believe. Trying to, nope, just her head. So her head glows in the dark, very, very mean face. Um, she has a, a, a stick that she's stirring a a, um, a pot of potions. Cool printing on the torso and the the bottom sloped brick. Wouldn't really call it legs. And then a little bit of printing on the back of the torso. Let me pull the hair piece off so you can see it. Actually a lot of printing on the back. You can see it's also got a double printed face. This is kind of the um, Dropped it, just did a drop test. So we have a kind of a happy face. And then you have your angry face. Less angry, angry. So it's not really happy face, it's more of a uh, less angry face. And the hair is really cool, this is all molded hard plastic, but you see the, the amount of detail with the long hair and then it curls at the end. And then on the front, the way it, it wraps around the shoulders of the minifigure. It's a really cool hair piece. And it's not like the Friends hair pieces that actually kind of are rubbery. 
This is actually the hard plastic, so squeezing on it and it's not moving. Versus the Friends type of hair pieces, when you squeeze on those, they're kind of rubbery hard plastic and they'll actually kind of bend a little bit. This one won't. So don't try to bend this one, it won't, it won't do it. So that's the minifigures for, um, for this vampire castle. So there's, um, there's basically two, two parts to this build. There's the vampire castle, which is what you mostly see in the big picture. And then there's the vehicle. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is start with, we're just gonna go through the instructions as normal, but that basically starts with the vehicle. So we're gonna build the vehicle, basically in this video. So we looked at our minifigures, we're gonna build the vehicle and probably part two, maybe even a part three of this video, because it's, it's a big set, it's almost a thousand pieces. So there may be additional parts, but um, I don't wanna make these videos way too long. So we'll do a couple different builds, but this one's gonna focus on the vehicle. So let's go ahead and jump right into that. I mean, I kinda already have. I'm not waiting on you, I guess. And let's see where this gets us. Now I have all the pieces sorted by color, which sometimes can be a advantage. Sometimes it can be a disadvantage if there's a lot of the same color in a set. Now, unfortunately in the set, there's a lot of the same colors. So it's mostly dark bluish gray and light bluish gray. I mean, that is the bulk of the colors that we have in this set. So there's two huge piles right over here of all of the dark bluish gray and light bluish gray pieces. So I'm gonna do the best I can to find the pieces as quickly as possible so we're not wasting either one of ours valuable time. So we're building the chassis piece of the Monster Fighters car. So it's, don't get confused with the monsters. This theme is based around the fighters, the people that are fighting the monsters. So, but even though it's based on the monster fighters, I think definitely the monsters themselves are kind of the, the highlight and the, 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 the game changers, the showstoppers of these sets. They're, they're really, really cool figures. So, this vehicle is what the monster fighters are driving to fight the monsters. And I'm slowly having to find all these pieces. <clears throat> As I get further along in the build and these pieces slowly begin to get used, there's gonna be less and less of them. So it's gonna be a lot easier to find the pieces that we need. But I know we've all been there when you're building something and you just have a big pile of pieces. And you're looking, you're looking, you're looking, you're like, ah! Where is that one piece that I just saw? It's gone now. We're running into quite a few of that, those scenarios here. So this is a pretty cool little, 
little detail this the smokestack piece that you see in a lot of city vehicles um, it's got this Technic pin right here on the end and we have this Technic brick right here so you can see when we stick it in that brick it, it kind of moves around but what we're doing on this set is putting it in the brick but then also letting this bar piece clip onto a modified brick with a clip just like that so it actually holds it in place to where it will not move unless you squeeze the set together real hard like I just did okay couple brake lights back So we're at that point where we're just kind of stacking plates and what these plates are doing is adding a lot of stability to the set so it doesn't fall apart like it just did when I kind of squeezed it. So it's now turning into a pretty sturdy little chassis. You know, I'm kind of squeezing, pulling, twisting not coming apart anymore so the first couple steps were kind of kind of like whoa what's going on here it's not it's not really holding together very well but now that we have these plates stacked on there it seems to be doing just fine no problems at all so we're going to build a bumper slash grill area so I need to pull all the pieces together for that. <clears throat> Two grills. Need a bow. Just need another one of these bow pieces. Where is it? Now I know I have all the pieces because I verified it last night. So it's just a matter of finding it in all of these dark gray pieces you know what I'm gonna go ahead and put this on there I'll find it in a minute and it'll all be just fine guess I should have sorted these pieces before I started building no big deal I know all the kids out there will understand Slopes. There's one. Get the other cheese slope. 
It's those random one-off pieces that there's only like two of them in the set. And you need both of them right now. You know, when there's like a million pieces still on the table. It's like, why now? There's 63 of these little profile bricks. So that's kind of what's jumbling up all of the, the pile over here. Maybe if I start to move all those to the side, I'll see. I found the other bow piece that goes right there on the front. So we have our front bumper. Maybe I'll hold off on the, yeah, the cheese slope until I see it next. All right, steering wheel, all black steering wheel. Have these cool sand green fenders. Sand green brick. One by three sand green tiles. Some trans clear cheese slopes. Some of the trans clear stuff is hard to see, especially if you have it on on a carpeted floor. It'd be real hard to find. All right, we got a plate with a clip on it. Actually, two of them. Gotta find the other one now. It's like I found the first one real easy. It was right there. Oh, I found my other cheese slope while I was looking for it. that other clip. Ah. Alright, that's another piece I'm gonna have to come back for. Alright. Sand green bows. Let's go ahead and get those on there. So these bows cover up all the, the studs. I give it a cool little aerodynamic feel to it. As do these long sloped pieces. Now we 
have these little gun pieces that go on the front and on these clips. Which means I gotta find the other clip now. I was holding off until I knew I didn't need it, but now I need it. Found it, finally. All right. So now we have this cool little um, net cannon that we're gonna build. It's basically a cannon that shoots a net. There's a little cannon. So you see it's, there's a Technic lift arm, some Technic pins, so it actually lifts up. And then it folds back down into the back of the car. Pretty cool. Got a little sub build here. And here's our net. It's the net kind of just pinch in the middle and then just shove it in there. Really no good way to get it in there. It kind of sticks out the front. You can kind of see it there. And then of course when you push the little plunger back here the net shoots out. Good in theory, it's a decent play feature. But that net basically has no accuracy at all. If you try to aim it and hit something with it. So that's kind of a bum deal. Got our wheels. Got two more. Need to find the Technic pins to go in there. Have one more. Need to find the last Technic pin for. The last one of them, so of course it's going to be the hardest one to find. I got it. Uh, 
And that's it. So that is the, the build of the vehicle. And of course we saw our minifigures. So we'll go ahead and put one in there. And the other one doesn't really fit in there. So there's only two monster fighters in the set. The rest are all monsters. So those are our two guys that fit in this. Well, one fits in the figure. The other one is just fighting. So that's it. That's it for build number, or part one of the Vampire Castle. We're gonna do another, probably two parts. We'll finish this instruction book and then do the last instruction book on part three. So that's part one of part of three parts. Make sure to subscribe, check out our other videos. We're gonna do the other two parts later. So check back on those and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.